Hey guys, I just want to take a couple minutes to quickly tell you about one of my favorite photography items. It doesn't cost a ton of money, but it can uh, add a neat effect to your photos if you use it correctly. It's called Atmosphere Aerosol. Right there. And you might call it fog in a can, but it's actually haze, but uh, let's not get into a discussion um, between fog and haze. Um, Let's just say that it diffuses nicely in the air and it doesn't smell like a fog machine. And it comes in a can so you can carry it anywhere, anytime. Um, I even have this little <coughs> leather uh, thing for carrying the can uh, that has a little clip on it that can clip onto my bag. So I don't even need to use one of the pouches <coughs> uh, in my bag. I can just clip it on. Another thing I'd like to note is that this is a small company owned by some great people and they're very responsive to messages, so if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, anything like that, you can email them and they will respond fairly quickly. They're very personable, so um, let's just say another company uh, makes a cheaper version of Fog in the Can. I'm still going to buy from these guys because um, I like them and the community and um, I'm just going to stick with what I know. So um, let's get back to the product itself. So the key to this product is backlighting. Now you can still use a soft box or reflector in front, but the important thing is the light behind the subject. So that could be the sun um, or the moon uh, or a flash, strobe, whatever. Uh, it can be natural or artificial light, doesn't really matter. I've seen some great pictures of um, light streaming through the cracks in uh, like a barn uh, between the slats or the between the trees and you just spread that in there and it illuminates the um, beams of light that are coming through there. Now that's one way to use it to kind of just subtly bring out what's already there but you can also use it more heavy-handed um, to kind of make it more look, look more like fog. If you head over to Instagram uh, you can go look at the pictures that Atmosphere Aerosol has already posted and you can um, get a feel for what it can do, what people are doing with it. But let me show you some of uh, some example photos that I have taken. The first two pictures are a perfect example of different ways that it can be used. Now I've got my photos on my phone but I'll put them on the video right there. So this first photo um, is an example of using it a little bit more heavy-handed um, and taking the picture before it gets diffused into the air so it looks a bit more like fog and the flash is directly behind um, him uh, with a green gel obviously and then a softbox um, on axis right in front of him. Now the second photo here is uh, the opposite. This is the, an example of um, letting it diffuse a bit more uh, before taking the picture. I had her brother off to the right, camera right, um, because the wind was blowing left. And he was waving it up and down and shaking it and, you know, letting it diffuse for a minute before I took the picture. And once again, there is a light source, like artificial light source camera left and a flash uh, camera right uh, and kind of 45 degrees behind, I would say. Anyway, it adds a really nice effect there. Now, the next image I'm going to show you is the first one I actually took with it. Now, I just took this into my living room. I set up a black backdrop, <clears throat> and a black backdrop works really well to um, if you really want to illuminate the, the fog or haze itself. And once again, I just used a softbox on axis and a cup, uh, one flash on each side, um, probably about 45 degrees or less uh, behind. Um, again, gelled green and red, and it came out really nicely. This is like almost 100% out of camera. I just added a little bit of effects. I didn't do any photoshopping or anything. On to the next photo. This one is from a wedding where 
uh, the weather was really bad, so we had to get creative um, and take a bunch of pictures inside, and the venue didn't look terrifically photogenic, so we kind of just made our own little studio there and made some cool photos. Now this one has, uh, I believe it just has one flash just behind them, obviously, and then um, this maybe like a half CTB, which is um, color temperature blue. And that's it. Okay, next photo is <clears throat> something I've been uh, excited about, which is a superhero photo booth. Except I want to make it more like that picture of Link from Legend of Zelda back there. So like just with one subject, so it's uh, just a dramatic kind of cosplay-ish kind of deal there. But this was for a charity event, so and, and their theme was superheroes, so this was a perfect um, time to give it a try. So, like the other pictures, I had one softbox on axis, uh, lighting all three of them, and the uh, typical uh, two flashes, uh, two gelled flashes behind into the sides. Alright, so if you're a wedding shooter, this is a good example of how to use it to make your photos more dramatic, um, dancing in particular. Before I took this photo, um, it looked a little bit... it looked fine, but it wasn't quite as nice. Um, something about the uh, diffused um, haze just does something really neat to the light. Um, coming from behind them. So I just put a constant light on behind them. Back there is slightly yellowish light and uh, I had my assistant um, spraying it far away so that it would diffuse before it got there and it turned out really nice. And just to note, it didn't affect the autofocus at all. Okay, that is all the photos I have to show you today. If this product is interesting to you, um, uh, I put a few links in the description. One is to their website. Uh, one is to the Amazon uh, link uh, if, if you'd rather order from Amazon. So if you like the video, uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.